I saw that up there. Um, yeah. And Deanna, thank you for that question. Yeah, please go ahead. Take that and one. And this is um this is a beautiful part of your personal journey here. Um, because there is never anything wrong with what you do when your intentions are of the spirit and are of God, meaning of self. And so other people's stigma is generally their misunderstanding or not knowing. I think in the corporate world, um, if that's what you're communicating here, um, obviously, as I communicate with a lot of my corporate um, clients, is that you have to understand your line of work. You have to understand your company overall, for and foremost. Um, but what I do suggest is that you continue having the great success that you are having and seeing all that you have with your experiences that you've been doing um because other your journey should never be overshadowed with somebody else's impression of you um i generally like to use the term that the only impression that you should be worried about is the impression of yourself and so that's another conversation to maybe to sit with a little bit. And I recommend sitting, if you're already doing some microdosing, sit with that is that um, what are you worried about within yourself that you are concerned with how others are viewing you and being shamed about it? Um, once you get past the, if it's going to hurt your career, that's a different conversation. Um, and you need to evaluate that. But if, if it doesn't have anything to do with that, it's, it's an, another deeper conversation to determine where is that coming up um, and what comes up when you sit with that a little bit. Uh, that would be my recommendation, but super question, Deanna. And yeah, thank you thank for bringing you so that up. Much. Yeah, go Lisa. The method of microdosing, the form, the, yeah, the form of ingestion for microdosing, whether it's in the capsule form or a tincture or an edible is, is, um, is, is one of kind of personal choice um, I think, you know, you should sign up, maybe sign up for a consultation. You could learn more about the different form, the, the different onset. Some people like a faster onset. Some people want something that is a little more cumulative over time. Uh, it also has a lot to do with your, your intention. Um, um, and, 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 and I think that, I think that one of the, one of the things that, um, is really important about the work that Stephen is doing is, is a lot of people need something programmatic. They like the idea of something programmatic. Once they start microdosing, they, they, they can enter into different programs, workshops and classes. Some cases they wanna go into deeper journey. And so one of the great things about being able to uh, have uh, some of the work that Steve is doing is, is it can give you kind of, a, it gives you a framework in which to look at all aspects of life centered on work. Work's very important these days, obviously. You know, people, so many of us are in transition. We, we make our money over here, but our heart is over there. How can we use optimal performance coaching and workshops to transition in career modify and shift how we represent our competencies this kind of thing so important you know well that yeah. brings up a really good point and i'll just uh, i'll continue sure. on that very quickly if sure. you are in any point of adjustment career change um that is such a incredible time to begin a microdosing journey of understanding because you will begin seeing things that you have not seen before in your work journey. And Lou spoke about this early about the set and setting. There can be a variety of ways, but we're just talking about performance right now. If you set that, create that set and that setting that you are focused on what am I missing? What am I not seeing? What do I need to be more aware of? 
if you're in any type of transition or thinking about transition, what a beautiful time to begin that because you will see a lot of the truths that you've been searching for. You will allow yourself to understand, drop a lot of your guards, drop a lot of your perceptions and your limiting beliefs. That's causing you not that, that prevents you from seeing other things that are out there for you. Incredible time to begin a journey such as that. Definitely. Um, you do not have, Stephanie uh, Foss, you do not ever stop taking antidepressants to be, to begin microdosing. You, you can uh, use what's called a, a tempering. You, 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 you slowly temper off of an antidepressant while you're beginning and continuing to microdose. There's a whole process to that. And that, that um, especially with very small doses, you know, 